Hello and welcome to Animal Digest. Cats are fun, entertaining, and can quickly become a member of the family. There are many different breeds and for prospective cat parents, sometimes this can be tricky. Therefore, we want to help narrow down your choices. Or, if you just want to know more about cats, stay tuned! In this video, we will compare the Abyssinian cat versus the Bengal cat. But before we get into the furry details, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all the fun facts and pet information we have in store for you. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Both breeds originated from different regions that are miles apart. However, they have few similarities, such as being highly intelligent and making the top 10 list of the most intelligent cat breeds. But enough rambling already. Let's get into the video. The Abyssinian cat versus the Bengal cat. Number one history. Both originated from different regions. The Abyssinian cat. The Abyssinians are one of the oldest breeds of domestic cats. Captured in the Abyssinian War, their first sighting was at a cat show in 1871. However, there are uncertainties and myths about their origin. Historians around the world have assumed that this breed originated from Ethiopia because Ethiopia was formerly known as Abyssinia. The Abyssinians are among the top five popular cat breeds in the United States. It started in the year 1900 when the American feline fanciers imported a few Abyssinians from Britain and subsequently started the breeding process in 1935. Luckily, the Abyssinians were imported to the United States because the breed almost became extinct during World War II. However, they were saved and became one of the most popular feline breeds. The Bengal Cat Bengals were created in the 1970s through crossbreeding between a wild Asian leopard cat and domestic short-haired cats by Jean Mill, an American breeder from the state of California. Reports indicate that Jean Mill had an Asian leopard cat hybrid and allowed it to socialize with a black tom cat. Surprisingly, since she had not figured that the two species would mate, kittens were produced. Jean Mill kept a spotted female and crossbred her with her dad, which delivered a litter of spotted and strong cats. She later included domestic short hairs like the Egyptian moles in the crossbreeding process. Her objective was to create a breed that remained consistent with the colorful appearance of the Asian leopard cat, but has the personality of a domestic house cat. As a result, the Bengals were created. The Bengals are believed to have inherited their name from the Asian leopard cat scientific name, Felis bengalensis. However, there are claims that Bill Angler, a zookeeper and a breeder, was the one who gave the breed its name, which is possibly a shortened version of his own, B. Angler. Number two, appearance. The Abyssinian Cat Don't be shocked if you perform a double take when you first see an Abyssinian. That is because of its ticked coat which resembles the coat of wild felines like cougars. A ticked coat substitutes light and dull groups of shading on every hair shaft. Every strand is lighter at the bottom and becomes gradually darker at the top. This gives the Abyssinian its wild cat look. Their coat comes in four different colors, a reddish cinnamon sometimes called sorrel, chocolate, blue lilac, and fawn. They have large almond-shaped eyes and large ears. They come in medium to large sizes. Their average weight is between 6 and 10 pounds, and they stand between 12 and 16 inches tall. The Bengal Cat 
Bengals are well known for their jungle cat appearance and distinctive markings, similar to a leopard. Their strong stride stems from their muscular physique and large hind legs, and their polished coats and round pointed ears are a true result of their wild origins. The Bengal's eye color can vary, but their eye mascara feature rings true for all Bengals. They have silky, smooth coats that are easy to groom. They can have spotty or marbled coat patterns in traditional hues like brown, snow, and silver, as well as non-traditional hues such as charcoal, blue, and solid black. The coats of snow bangles are ivory or cream in color. This is due to a kind of albinism that dates back to their Siamese and Burmese ancestors. Like the Abyssinians, the Bengals come in medium to large sizes. Based on gender, their weight ranges from 6 to 15 pounds, and they often appear larger than what they actually weigh. Their average height ranges from 13 to 16 inches tall. Number 3. Personality The Abyssinian Cat the Abyssinian is a cat breed that seems to live a good life. He climbs to the highest height that is possible and seems to jump and play more aggressively than other breeds. Everything gets undivided attention from this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, which makes life with an Abbey both endlessly entertaining and constantly challenging. No one can predict what the Abyssinian has on its agenda. But you can bet that if you are occupied or distracted, your Abyssinian will get inquisitive and investigate your actions thoroughly. They also have a tendency to take things that spark their interest. As such, they are often referred to as Abby Grabby. These mischievous felines are also known as Abyssilian or clowns of the cat kingdom and are always up to something. They like to be on top of things, so don't be surprised if you find your Abbey perched on top of your refrigerator or some bookshelves. The Bengal Cat A cat's personality is heavily influenced by its surroundings and experiences. Bengal cats, on the other hand, have some features that are inherited from their wild cat ancestors. Their temperament includes intelligence, curiosity, energy, confidence, and always alertness, qualities that they would need to survive in the jungle. These cats are devoted to their owners, yet, like any other energetic breed, they dislike being restrained or held. Because of their high intelligence, you may be able to teach them complex tricks like toilet use and flushing. Bengal cats are incredibly athletic and full of activity thanks to their powerful muscular physique. Like the Abyssians, climbing is one of their favorite pastimes and they are also known to appreciate water. For both breeds, the Abyssians and the Bengals enjoy playing and climbing, so make or buy a variety of toys and provide them with a tall cat tree to keep these busy and intelligent cats active and entertained. Number 4. Diet The Abyssinian Cat The Abyssinian's diet is typical of other cats. However, they need foods that are high in protein and contain a good balance of carbohydrates, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. Many low-quality pet food brands use grains as fillers, lowering the food's quality and putting your cat at risk of developing health problems. It is critical that you feed your Abyssinian the proper cat food. Also, without the proper diet, your Abyssinian may develop kidney problems because many cats have the unfortunate habit of not drinking enough water. The Bengal Cat like Abby's diet, it is critical to feed your Bengal high-quality cat food made from minimally processed ingredients 
to ensure they follow a healthy diet that meets their specific carnivore needs. Raw meat is an excellent addition to a Bengal's cat's diet if it is fresh and unprocessed. You can either make your own Bengal cat food or purchase high quality commercial cat food. Most importantly, ensure that protein accounts for 50 to 80% of your cat's diet, leaving room for fiber and vitamins. Both breeds. The Abyssinians and the Bengals are able to burn off excess calories to maintain a healthy weight due to their high energy levels. Also, consult your vet for further information related to your cat's dietary requirement or about enhancing your cat's diet. Number five, life expectancy. A cat's life expectancy is determined by a variety of factors including the cat's overall health and whether it is an indoor or outdoor cat. A Bengal cat's lifespan ranges from 10 to 16 years and an Abyssinian ranges from 9 to 15 years. Do you have a Bengal or an Abyssinian cat? Do you have a pet story you would like to share with our community? We would love to hear from you, so please tell us all about it in the comment section below. And watch our next exciting video, 10 Mistakes Cat Owners Make.